before he starts cutting again. In this video, we're gonna show you six things that we have either added or upgraded in our home build. Um, I saw these things through another social media um, platform that I found super helpful and I just wanna share with you guys of what we're doing and just give a little update of what we got going on. All right, let's start with number one. Spray foam insulation that was well worth the money to get the spray the spray foam insulation installed. We are in um, sorry, let me get my camera set up. We are in Florida and it gets very hot, and so this was worth every penny to install. Currently, how hot is it outside? 90. It's in the 90s or it's low 90s right now, and it's actually pretty cool in here. Um, so. We find the spray foam insulation is worth every single penny. All right, number two on our list of things that we added. Under cabinet lighting. So I made sure I threaded these underneath the blocking because this is about where the bottom of the wall cabinets are going to sit. So I need this to come out right underneath the cabinets and this is going to hardwire it for a switch for the under cabinet lighting with a separate switch for the top tier glass cabinets. Additional 2x4 blocking in between your studs will help carry the weight of anything you install on your walls later like towel bars, like cabinets, like wall TV mounts like barn doors so going through the house now before drywall and adding blocking will save me on install time later I won't have to search for a stud I won't have to worry so this is additional peace of mind all right so he is adding what is it called uh, blocking blocking and for the cabinets this is the kitchen so he's gonna add them all throughout wherever he needs them like I was saying there's gonna be a range right here and so he's not gonna add in the um the blocking pieces all the way to get in the way of any like lines or anything another thing we added on our front porch were these eye bolts let me try to brighten it so y'all can see this there are one two and there's actually two more right there at the end of the porch we added these because we plan on putting porch swings here and so we've got four by fours that are up above the tongue and groove that are anchored into the framing and so this will provide some extra strength we went ahead and did that before we ran this so later on we don't have to come back through and drill through all this and try to crawl up in the attic to figure out how to mount them it is already done for us so it'll be an easy time installing the swings for this side and the other side of the porch all right, the last thing on our list, guys, you don't see the outlet there yet, but there will be an outlet here. And I think there's only one. Yeah, only one. So this outlet, there's two more on the front porch as well. These are for Christmas lights. So it would be way easier to run our lights down the house and just plug in right there whenever we put the Christmas lights up for everyone to enjoy. All right, a little bit of gardening content, I guess you would say. This patch, I cut it back about, was that a week and a half ago? I cut it back, it was really overgrown with weeds. There's actually a lot of wisteria in here, um, which I love wisteria, it's beautiful, but there's too much of it in here right now. So, cut this back and I threw in a bunch of seeds as just like a wing and a prayer. We'll see what happens. I don't even know if they're gonna sprout or what. So there are sunflower seeds all in here. There's wildflower seeds in here too. So we'll just see what happens. I can see some of the seeds actually, like they're not scratched into the soil or anything. Um, I don't know, just to see what would happen. It looks pretty unhealthy over here to be honest. Um, yeah, lots of weeds so. I just thought it would be kind of neat. If it did come up, great. If it didn't, that's okay. But how beautiful would that be, all this filled with sunflowers and wildflowers? I'm looking to see if there's any sprouts. I don't see any. So we've had a little bit of rain so far, but I don't think enough to germinate the seeds that are in this little patch. Um, so speaking of water, let me show you something super cool. There's a new well. 
Um, we had to go 180 feet. I think it's so crazy that that well is 180 feet when the other well we have is only at 135 or 150. Um, we got to see the truck come out here and drill. That was really cool. The kids really enjoyed watching that. It was a fun little experience. Um, I'm excited to get water flowing out here. That'd be awesome so I can plant our fruit trees. So our goal, guys, isn't that pretty? Like this area <laughs> of the video, isn't that, that's so pretty. Ugh, that's so pretty. I love that tree, it's my favorite. So we have an idea where we want the driveway to go and I really am just envisioning lining that driveway with our fruit trees. We have to do that. The fruit trees need to be on the front because our property is tilted like this. And so water is pulling in the back. Now that is where the willow is gonna go because they love water. And I have read and learned that willows will actually chase after like your pipes to your house, wherever water is, they can sense it, they will go and penetrate them. And so we're putting the willow out in the back by the water. Fruit trees I envision lining up on the driveway. Now fruit trees we have I think we have a mandarin, I have a navel orange, I have a um, kumquat, I've got a Meyer lemon, and I have a Eureka lemon. To the Eureka lemon is my mother-in-law's. Oh, bud, look at the horse running. Look at the horses running. They're so pretty. Yeah. Ugh. Like, Ugh, that's going to be out my window. So... The Meyer, no, not the Meyer, I'm sorry. So the Eureka lemon is actually coming from my mother-in-law and then we have a fig tree that I got as a birthday gift um, from my aunt and um, I'm excited to plant that. I need to do some research on fig trees because I have no idea what they prefer. So yeah, I'm excited to get the trees out here. They need to come out here. The ones that I got at the local event that I went to last weekend, they need to get out of the pots that they're in. And so I'm really hoping, I might have to honestly just bring buckets of water out here. Um, sometimes we leave buckets out to collect the rainwater and I can use those. I've got mulberries already planted up there. Funny, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but those berries, I had them for, I had them at our old garden and I've had them for, gosh, how long did I have them for? I think I had them for about a year and a half to two years and didn't even realize what they were. I just thought, it just said patio, they were labeled as patio fruit. And I lost the tag and couldn't figure out what they were. And then they started actually producing fruit once they got out here. And this is the second spring they've been out here. And I took a picture and sent it to a friend and she's like, those are definitely mulberries. And I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> I think they need more water because the berries aren't that big. I know they do take a few years to establish, um, but they're actually not bad. They're a little bit sweet. They need to get a few seasons in. I'm pretty sure they'll taste great. So, Also, the elderberry is blooming, which I'm excited for that again. I do need to come through. Um, <laughs> my parents got me a pole saw for my birthday. Guys, when you get older and you have to use like power tools on the regular and like the house things and all that, a pole saw, that's an amazing gift. Plants and, and like tools and stuff, I'm down for. That's great. And I wanna try and cut back some of that elderberry. I know I'm a little bit late because it's already put a new flush of leaves out, but it is blooming. I might not. I did cut back a little patch just to see what would happen, um, see if it would come back flush, but I think I, I got kind of late to the game. There is a muscadine, so I learned that muscadines are actually um, they grow wild here and so I cut back the muscadine that was over there to see if it would put off anything I don't even know if I'm supposed to cut that back or not so we will see but the berries I'm super excited for because the last time I harvested berries out here I got two big old grocery bags full of fresh elderberries and I was able to freeze those and use them for syrup all throughout the fall for us um, I make elderberry I've made elderberry for about five, five to seven years now and kind of a little homemaker with it and selling and everything and it's been great. And so um, I'm excited for that. I'm, I'm really excited. I'm so thankful. There's another video of when we moved and I explain how for me that's a God thing that that elderberry patch 
is there. That I prayed for it. We couldn't see it. When we first looked at this property, um, it was completely overgrown. There were trees everywhere in the back. It's actually crazy to think about now. Looking back at everything we've done so far, this looks totally different than when, when we purchased it. And so I couldn't see any, we couldn't see anything. The, the overgrowth was, was well over our heads. And so we got the land. My sweet uncle came out here and he actually cleared it out for us. We didn't even know. That was amazing. God thing there. And then we were finally able to find someone to come out and get the trees out. He was awesome. Got all the trees out. Oh, when we cleared back the overgrowth first, I, we walked around because it was the first time we had seen it, seen the land without it. So when it was cleared out, we walked around and I'm like, that looks like elderberry. And I look more at it and I'm like, these are fully established elderberry plants that have been here for a very long time. And I was just so grateful in that moment and it seems cheesy and corny to people, but that's, that's a special thing for me. And so praise God that little patch is there. This is just, all this has been absolutely amazing. So praise him for all of it. Mm. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching our video. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and end it. We've got things we need to finish up here, but praise God for what he is doing here. So thank you guys for watching and y'all have a good one. Bye.